Psalm chapter 10. Petition for God to judge the wicked. Why, Adonai, do you stand at a distance? Why do you hide yourself in times of trouble? The wicked in their arrogance hunt down the poor, who get caught in the schemes they think up. For the wicked boasts about his lusts, he blesses greed and despises Adonai. Every scheme of the wicked in his arrogance, says, there is no God, so, it won't be held against me. His ways prosper at all times. Your judgments are way up there, so he takes no notice. His adversaries, he scoffs at them all. In his heart he thinks, I will never be shaken. I won't meet trouble, not now or ever. His mouth is full of curses, deceit, oppression, under his tongue, mischief and injustice. He waits near settlements in ambush and kills an innocent man in secret. His eyes are on the hunt for the helpless. Lurking unseen like a lion in his lair, he lies in wait to pounce on the poor, then seizes the poor and drags him off in his net. Yes, he stoops, crouches down low, and the helpless wretch falls into his clutches. He says in his heart, God forgets, he hides his face, he will never see. Arise, Adonai. God, raise your hand. Don't forget the humble. Why does the wicked despise God and say in his heart, it won't be held against me? You have seen, for you look at mischief and grief, so that you can take the matter in hand. The helpless commits himself to you. You help the fatherless. Break the arm of the wicked. As for the evil man, search out his wickedness until there is none left. Adonai is king forever and ever. The nations have vanished from his land. Adonai, you have heard what the humble want. You encourage them and listen to them to give justice to the fatherless and oppressed, so that no one on earth will strike terror again.